Hello everyone, this is Mark with Mr. Hurricane Tracker dot webs dot com. Today is February 15, 2012, and the current time is 1047 a.m. Central Standard Time. Bringing you some breaking news information and an update of the earthquake of the 6.0 off the coast of Oregon. Taking a look at the information down below, this is com coming from the Extinction Protocol 2012. This is a breaking news story. It says that the 6.0 magnitude earthquake struck off the coast of Oregon was at a shallow depth of only 6.2 miles and was about 159 miles off the coast of Oregon's closest point, which is Coos Bay, Oregon. The earthquake comes after a volley of moderate earthquakes rippled up the U.S. west coast, radiating towards an area of seismic tension along the one Nefuka Tectonic Plate, which we identified several days ago when tremors shook Washington State and the seafloor near Vancouver Island. The stress on the plate continues and we should see more eruptions or stress eruptions along Nazca in South America and the South Pacific along the Ring of Fire. Now that we gotta watch this very close guys. The Hawaii uh, Naval Observat Observation Center said no tsunami was expected from the earthquake of the 6.0 magnitude today. And uh, I'd like to read another story uh, for you guys here. It's a story of uh, strange boxes washing up the U or washing up on the US coastlines. It says here, you see an image of a strange metal box and uh, that's the actual title, the strange metal box is watching up on US coastlines. As of late afternoon, February 8th, Bill Hans Shoemaker, a public marine specialist and PhD doctor of marine science at the Hatfield Marine Science Center in nearby Newport, told Hilk in an interview that I don't know why they are or what they are. In turn, Dr. Ann Shoemaker said he's advised surf monitoring about these strange metal boxes that suddenly appeared along the beaches on February 6th and now seem to be multiplying like Star Trek Tribbles. Okay guys, you can read the information for yourself. It gets a little crazy and it turns into something that they're going to start saying UFO people need to get together. Look guys, let me tell you something. If these are strange metal boxes coming off the coast lines, I would take a radiation device and do a radiation test on them before you even touch them. This is just an advice that I want to give to you guys. Get a radiation tester, test it before you touch them. This could be Japan, uh, you know, waste coming to the shore. Even though it's a metal box, you never know what this could be. These people are, are getting into a UFO talk about it. But again, guys, uh, showing off of the coast of Oregon as well, we were expecting stuff coming from Japan. So, guys, take a look at that story. It's getting ridiculous, that story. But look, if you are in the area, you see those metal boxes, get a radiation device and check it out. Make sure there's not any radiation on that box before you touch it. Again, guys, I want to thank everybody for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment, and have a great day.